Hello guys as we all know the success of any machine learning model is dependent on the data that is being used to train so the way we split the data has a direct impact on the accuracy we achieve from our model hence it is very important that we know everything about the function we are using to perform the split and one of the common functions we use to perform the split on the data set is train test split function which comes under sklearn.model selection so guys without wasting much of time let's get started here as a first step i'll start by importing the data sets model and train test split function so i'll write as from sklearn import data sets comma linear model and then from sklearn.model selection import train test split So now here in this video I'll be using the diabetes dataset which is available inside the SQLearn library. So I'll load the dataset like this. That is diabetes is equal to datasets dot load diabetes. So this will load the dataset and after that I'll separate the input and output as x is equal to diabetes dot data and y is equal to diabetes dot target. Okay we have now loaded the data set for our working so now let's display the shape and first few elements in our data so for that print x colon y and then print x dot shape and for this y print y colon y and then print y dot shape okay we have the input data x of shape 442 10 That means we have a total of four hundred and forty-two rows and with ten features for each row. And then target Y is of shape four hundred and forty-two. That means it's a single-dimensional array. And here, if you observe the values that array Y contains, is the real values. So I can see as this is a regression task. Now the next step is. split the data into two parts that is training data and validation data so for that we are going to make use of train test split function and to perform this split we can call the function like this that is x train comma x test comma y train comma y test is equal to train test split of x comma y okay this has been executed So now let's display the shape of x train, x test, y train, and y test. Yes, as we can see from the resulting shapes of arrays, that is, we have splitted the training data and test data in the ratio of seventy is to thirty. That means seventy percent of data are splitted as training data, and the remaining thirty percent are the test data. Now if we want to specify the split size then we can do it manually by specifying the parameter of test size so to show you how it is done this time i'll perform the split like this that is x train comma x test comma y train comma y test z equal to train test split of x comma y comma test size z equal to 0.1 As you can see here this time i have specified the test size as 0.1 that means only 10% of data will be used as test data and the remaining 90% will be used as training data so let's confirm it by printing the shapes as well that is print x train dot shape and then print x test dot shape print y train dot shape and print y test dot shape As we can see from the output that we can observe that the training data now has 397 rows and the test data has 45 rows. So in this way we specify the split ratio when using the train test split function. Okay? So now let me print the mean of the values from the data set. For that it will be like import numpy as np and then print np dot mean of extreme then print np dot mean of x test and after that it will be like print np dot mean of y train and print np dot mean of y test 
as you can observe that is like we have got the mean values of the training and test data like this now what i'll do is i'll again run the train test split function and then compute the mean okay as we can observe here that is each time when i run a split function the mean values are different that means a separate split of data is created each time the function is run now to be able to get the same split every time we have to specify the random state instance with the use of the parameter random state that is random underscore state so this time i'll write as x train comma x test comma y train comma y test is equal to train test split of x comma y comma test size is equal to point one comma random state is equal to one and then i'll execute the code okay this has been executed and i'll now compute the mean okay we have the mean values like this and this time i'll again perform the split function and see what happens to the mean of the data set all right as we can observe here there is no matter how many times i run the code the mean is still the same that means each time each time we get the same split on the data and if you are using a classification data set then you can also make use of the parameter stratify yes you can use this parameter stratify to get the stratified split so guys i hope you now know as how to make use of the train test split function to efficiently split the data set and i'll see you next time